Okay, so here's the thing. In guitar, when you're building guitars, you're working with very, very tight tolerances. This fretboard and this neck right here is almost a little too small. I can't carve a whole lot more off of it. Because I've carved off as much as I can. I got a little more on this side I can go. This side here, I'm pretty much there. I can't really do much more. The fretboard right here is a little too wide. It's supposed to be 1.625. It's 1.640 right now. Which means I got about 20 thousandths of an inch I can take off. Which isn't a lot. Less than the 32nd of an inch, obviously. So, this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to cut the truss rod slot. I'm going to put the frets in the fretboard. I'm going to glue the fretboard on. Then I'm going to finish shaping the neck. That way I can make sure everything meets the correct tolerances and we're good to go. And I don't accidentally try to take too much off. The fretboard will actually keep me from getting out of control with a file because I will know that there's my limit. It's very easy with a file or sandpaper to just take one stroke too much and then you got a little too much off and then you're starting to try and compensate. I don't want to do that. I want to get it right, all the way right, as much as I can. Okay, so that's where we're at. I'm going to set up to try to do the truss rod slot. We'll get that done and then we'll call it a day, okay? Because we're starting to get along. I need for you guys to tell me if the videos are too long. If the videos are okay at 30 minutes, then we'll keep, you know, trying to, to do 30 minute videos. but. It's difficult to do anything in 15 minutes out here. By the time I get out here, get set up, make a couple of cuts, 15 minutes is over with. And I've been told by certain people that 15 minutes is about the limit that people have for their attention in a video, which I don't know if that's true. That's probably bullshit because we're capable of watching movies and series and all that stuff. If you're interested in it, you're going to watch it. It doesn't matter how long it is. Well, it does, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to get set up to do a truss rod slot. And then we're going to stop for the day, okay? That sounds like a good place to stop. We're looking good, and so let's just keep in that, in that vein of positive thinking. All right? Hold on. got a couple of different fixtures I made for doing the truss rods and it depends on the angle of the neck and all that kind of stuff. I think this one here will work perfectly. I believe that we can just hook that up right there and what I'm going to do is center on here and then we're good now I've got center mark out this piece on here, see it's got that cut in the back, so it, it registers. I actually made this one for a base head, but because it's a little bit bigger, I got some play in it so I can line it up. 
and it'll work better. And I can line up the center line on there that I just put on there. And then I can clamp it down. So I've got some bushings in here and I can clamp this fixture onto my neck, like that. And I can move things around on this one and center it up. I think we're good to go. set up specifically for this purpose. I do not change this router to do truss rod access routing and that's the only thing that it does. I leave it set up. Okay, you see what we did there? That slot, I've got a bearing, a template, um, what do you call those things, collet on the bottom of the router, rides in the slot, and we get a little groove there. We get this off of here and I'll show you what we did. Is this a little bit of extra work? Yeah, it is. Is it worth it? I think so. A little bit of extra, I don't know, something. I like it. I just like the way it looks. I like the way it works. And it leaves that right there without breaking it out. I drill a hole down through here and it gives me access to the tip of the truss rod. The tip of the truss rod, the adjusting Allen wrench in the truss rod at the end. All I have to do now is drill that hole down through there. And it'll line up because of the angle, it will line up with the slot cut for the truss rod. And to me, personally, hold on, I gotta adjust the camera. To me, personally, I like the way that looks. This is very clean right here. It looks like some craftsmanship went into it. 
somebody gave it some thought. And it didn't just run a router up straight through the the thing, you know? That's just the way I see it. <laughs> and when all of this is assembled, and you take the truss rod cover off, you have this nice little port right here, and the angle is such on a headstock that the tool still fits right down inside there very nicely, and you can turn it. Or if you just have an Allen wrench, you know, that works also. So that's done. We got that done. We got the headstock, head plate, flush trim. We got the truss rod cover cut, and we got half of the volute carved. And then we decided what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the frets in. We're gonna glue the fretboard on with the truss rod in, drill that access port hole, and uh, then we're gonna finish shaping that neck. And then at that point, we'll glue this neck into that body. And you know it's all downhill from there. It's just a matter of doing, yeah. It's not just a matter. It's a lot more work to go. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And I hope you're enjoying the other videos on the channel. We got a cool thing coming up next called The Five. And I'm gonna start having some guys over here, local guitar players, and I'm gonna ask them five questions that I've been thinking about a lot that kind of covers their world through music and what influenced them to play the guitar. And so I hope you'll be interested in watching that. And I hope if you own a worth guitar, you'll be interested in being a part of that. And even if not, well, you know, let's sit down and talk about it. Or maybe we can convince you that you need a worth guitar, okay? All right, guys, you guys be good to each other out there. Get out and support all your local people, your bars, your restaurants, your mechanics, your salons, all of that good stuff. And I think that's all I got. We'll see you out there somewhere soon. Peace. Work guitars. Bye now.